All right, Shalom, Akim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to uh, my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. Uh, we got me and another brother. Uh, we, you know, we linked up, and we just want to do a quick lesson. You know, uh, we pray that the video is edifying, and uh, just going to, you know, uh, how you heathens. Here in America, you're going to experience great miseries also, you know, because you have Jacob's trouble, which is going to befall, you know, uh, all of Jacob, the hour of temptation, where you're going to be, you know, offered the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast uh, spoken about in Revelation, the 13th chapter. Um, but you heathens, you know, there's a lot of heathens over here in America. Moab, Ammon, Japhet, you know, Ham, you know, all these different nations, and they have... Uh, they have gotten uh, above the Israelites, okay, that served here in America, and they have got more, they have more status and more power here. They have more money. But when all hell breaks loose, are they going to be running from the judgment, you know, because Jake is going to go up into these stores. They're going to go up into these, uh, these, you know, these neighborhoods with these, with these heathen nations, these Arabs and, and you, uh, you, you Pakistanians and Indians, are they going to wreak havoc on you? Are you going to suffer a lot of judgments also? You know, did you have a scripture? Gone. Okay, gone. Go ahead. It's, it's Revelations chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I mm -hmm. also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, see? And can you get Isaiah 13? Yeah, it's going to come upon the whole world that shall try them that dwell upon the earth. And that goes... uh. That includes, you know, you heathens in the in the aspect that, you know, you're going to be offered up the chip also, you know, and if you are a natural heathen from another nation, it doesn't matter if you take it or not, you're still going to be destroyed or going to captivity. OK. But you're going to come back, you're going to come back in a reincarnation, a slave. OK, you have power over Jake on this side, but now when Jacob's trouble uh, happens. You know, you're not going to have any hedge of protection. All right, the so-called white man, he's not going to be there for you. Okay, and if you have not already fled to uh, your country, okay, you're not going to have any protection. Okay, furthermore, you're going to have the different countries that, you know, they, they are going to, some countries are going to get hit with nuclear missiles. They're not going to be totally destroyed. You know, uh, can you, Isaiah 13 and uh, uh, start at 6. It's Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yeah, when Jacob's trouble pop, um, um, pops off, okay, when this hour, you know, when this, this hour of evil, you know, because we're, we're in the midst of a government shutdown, you know, at any given time, you know, me and a brother was talking and we was, uh, we was going to the store and, you know, we see some mole bites. And, you know, the brother was like, you think you ready for the collapse? That's not nobody. No, like everybody in America, that's the last thing that's on their mind is that that uh their their way of living is going to come to an end. Like you're going to the last thing they're thinking about is like I'm not going to have to go to work tomorrow. The uh, the whole economy is going to collapse. You know, civil unrest. Everything that they see in the movies that you like to watch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You go pay uh, top dollar. You bring you and your family, mm -hmm. and you you pretty much watching yourself. Okay. Uh. Uh. In the future. Yep. Okay, you watching the prophecy, you you getting chased down by by a gang of, uh by a gang of rapists that's gonna snatch your daughter up, take your daughter right before your eyes, okay, put your, your ugly ass kid, uh son son to death, okay, take your dog for the meat, take take your take your wife, all right, and put you to death. All right, this is gonna be a reality to you heathens. You know that you heathens that have uh, oppressed Jake. You know, who have uh, talked shit about Jake. You know, I got a, I got a preset. I'm going to bring one out real quick. I believe that's Lamentations 2. Yeah, because they look down on, on us and everything. And, and really, everybody out here in America, what do what's, what, is, what the hell is your hope? Your hope is that America thrives and keep on going. And so when America falls, these people are going to lose it. Because that's what their, their hope is. Yep. Their hope is it lies in America and everything that they have here in America. And they're going to lose all that in a split second. When this place collapsed. Yeah, because you, you have these other nations, uh, according to Jeremiah 51, how these nations were mad and angry. 
You know, that's the reason why they're going to shoot uh, missiles at, at Babylon. And what's what's happening is these he, these heathens, they're going to, you know, they're going to, they're, they're starting to become more angry because they're starting to be oppressed like Jacob. Mm -hmm. Now they have to go through that ridicule that, you know, you Israelites once had to go, you know, go and suffer, which you still suffer these things to this day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what proves that is that there's always a viral video of a so-called white person being super racist. Yeah. Okay. Being non-understanding. This is a lamentation two and 15. All that passed by clapped their hands at the, they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem saying, is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Yeah, and that's how they look at us. They look at us like we're like we're a piece of shit or something. When really, like we're we're the Lord's chosen people. Yet the the way that the state that our people are in right now, that's how they look at us. Like, is this the perfection of beauty? Is this who the Lord's supposed to be dealing with? Y'all out there talking about the Lord dealing with you? Is He really dealing with you? Hey, man, so the Lord's gonna make it known, all right, very mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, He gonna the Lord's gonna make it known very soon, like the brother just said, and. And you heathens, you're, you're going to be caught up out there. You know, you're not going to have no protection. Because right, not only is the so-called white man, he's going to come down upon you in great wrath. Because contrary to power belief, he hates you. So-called white man hates you Africans. He hates you Polynesians. He hates you, you, you Asians. Okay, he hates you Arabs. He hates you Indians. Okay, you East Indians. All right. He hates all the nations of the world. It's just that he hates the nation of Israel the most. Yeah. But don't don't get it twisted. Twisted. You're gonna get caught up in this wrath also. Okay, I was gonna bring out uh, I believe that's Baruch the fourth chapter. Just give me a. The, the so-called white man. He's not no respecter of persons. Everybody can like everybody gonna die. Just like with the government shutdown. You think they care about who who affected? Because it's Edomites and and our people and all these heathens being affected as well. Me and a brother was talking about that the other day. You got all these people that. You, what's the best type of job you can get in America? Working for the state or the government. And now that the government shut down, you ain't getting a check now. All those people who be acting all super proud, like, yeah, I work for the government, this and that. Hey, now look at you. You gotta you gotta go file for unemployment. Mm -hmm. You gotta go to food uh food drives or something to get food for your crib. Y'all catching hell. Just because cause what, man? You you wanted to uh you that's what your all your hope and faith is in America. Yep. You never thought that you your job would be for uh, furlough for this long. Yep, and you and you and you thought that you were always going to be in that comfortable position above the Israelites. You're always going to be able to make fun of them, you know, in the form of, you know, these different caricatures, you know, these these you know, the, these different bywords, you know, derogatory statements, and then just how the social dynamics of the United States is set up. Okay, the so-called Black and Hispanic man is at the bottom, and you have all these other heathen nations that are able to, you know. Uh, be in a higher position, okay, socially and uh, economically, yep. you know, financially, you know, they're looked at, you know, in a in a higher higher class, so to speak. If you if you were to identify a class system here in America, which a class system here in America is very strong, okay, it's a very live and strong, and you so called blacks and Hispanics are all you're under the bottom, okay, and the heathens are above you. It says, uh, verse sixteen, Lamentation two and sixteen, all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found it. We have seen it. Yeah, all the, just like when we had fell down, all the nations rejoiced about that, us being at the bottom. And they still they still rejoice in that because these other, these heathen nations, they know that we're the chosen people, yet they still take pride in the fact that they're over us right now. And the Lord, he's about to switch the roles real quick. Mm -hmm. When all hell breaks loose, hey, our people have been catching hell for the longest. So it's not going to be anything new for our people as far as catching hell in America, but for everybody else, y'all not y'all used to luxurious lifestyles, all right, looking down on the people who's in poverty, making fun of our people for being in poverty. Yeah, and Jake's gonna remember that when you you was at the get you Jake's at the gas station, we came up two sh two cents short, yeah, and you didn't want to you didn't want to let Jake go, uh, get by, you know, or you tell him to get out get get out of my store. All right, they're gonna remember that. See the Lord, he gonna. He gonna put them flashbacks and and he gonna make Jake remember even if even if Jake is part of that two thirds because you gonna have you know you know the scripture said there is there be spirits created for vengeance yep. so the Lord is gonna take vengeance upon the whole earth okay and you and you uh you heathen nations are gonna be part of that vengeance okay you gonna you gonna get totally just mowed down by Jake okay and then you are gonna have these different nations that are gonna try to 
you know, join themselves unto Jake. Yep. You know, oh hey brother, oh we're brown. They do that now, a little lightweight. Yeah, they like, doing that now. He be some weed in the gas station or the liquor stores are like, all right, brother. Yep. Like they trying to make it. They trying to be cool with you because they already know what it is. Yeah, they know what it is. It's because Esau, Esau is is uh, he's not separating his hatred for you Israelites and these other nations. See, these other nations now are suffering the racism that the so-called black man was suffering for so long. Yeah. See, here in America, you can't even be racist to an Israelite, okay, without being going viral, okay, without losing your job, being, you know, you know, losing all type of, you know, different, you know, uh, amenities here in America, whether it be, you know, your status, you know, you all on the internet looking stupid, looking like a bigot, you know, you don't have job opportunities. So these other nations, you know, they're experiencing, you know, this hatred from the so-called white, white man. You know, white man, woman, and child, and 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 that spirit of rousing up is being stirred up now because of what Judah, yep. Judah's being stirred up right now. So all the nations, okay, starting with Ephraim, and then all the other nations, you know, the the, the northern kingdom, southern kingdom coming together, rising up against Esau, and then uh, can you get uh real quick Job twenty and twenty seven? This Job twenty and twenty seven. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity. Yep, the heaven shall reveal whose iniquity? The so-called white man's iniquity. Go ahead. And the earth shall rise up against him. So the earth is going to rise up against who? Esau. Everybody's going to rise up against Esau, including these, these heathen nations. Because even here, you're going to have, um, you know, race riots. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to have the Chinese. They're going to band together. You're going to have the Arabs. They're going to band together. You know, you're going to have Jake. They're going to band together. You know, then you're going to, you know, you're going to have some rainbow coalitions, you know, you're going to have some Israelite foreigners, you know, but there's going to be very, uh, segregated in that day, very compartmentalized. Okay. These different subsections of, uh, uh, of, of the society. Okay. And you heathen, you heathen nations. I mean, what, what is a Moabite going to do in that day? All right. Other than they just get put to death and, and, and that's exactly what you deserve. Okay. You heathens. Okay. Like, uh, you know, I live around a whole bunch of heathens. Man, this, this thing go down there. They're not. They're gonna have no clue what the hell to do. All right, because they're so subservient to the so-called white man. That's just their role. Yep. It's a slave. Yep. I got the scriptures. It's Jeremiah thirty and sixteen. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy enemies, all thy adversaries. Were you done on that? Yeah, I think yeah, you were done. Yeah, you were done on that one. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Yeah, and that's all these other nations. All right, including Esau, first and foremost. Yeah, all these other nations, they still play the part in that as well. Right. You know, it's just that Esau, he's at the top of the list. And you other nations, y'all just going to get it too, just because y'all had a part in it as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So every one of y'all, y'all going to go into captivity too. So when, and just like when all hell breaks loose, we're going to be affected and these heathens going to be affected. You, you just like Esau, he took, he had got benefits off of our captivity. You, you the nations, y'all getting benefits off of it too. Right. Off you're, of us being yep. at the bottom. We're, you're able to have these low interest uh, loans to open up businesses. And then there's even, okay, say that they don't give you loans. Well, there's not a negative stick, uh, stigmatization, okay, on you to where you you uh, you look down upon. Nobody's going to give you business. Esau ain't going to deal. See, Esau, he'll deal with the other nations with business. Ultimately, it's because you don't have the curses uh, upon you. But you know what? Get um, Deuteronomy 30. Because these curses are now falling upon Esau, which is the prime, the uh, the number one heathen, the primary heathen, but it's also falling upon you other nations. Okay, you uh, oh you you gooks, you you Moabites, you Ammonites. Okay, you 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 now have a low birth rate. Okay, like Japan, Japan has a low birth rate now. All right, they're they're nothing but weirdos. The porn has been introduced. Robots. Yeah, robots, AI. You know, pretty much the philosophy of of, of Babylon. And it pretty much destroyed these other nations. That's why you have Ishmael, you know, in these different nations, some Elam, like uh, Iran. They're trying to stop uh, Westernism for, from totally uh, engulfing their whole, you know, society and turn their society into homosexuals, trannies, you know, sodomites, like all just manner of freakness, openness, you know, all manner of lewdness. Can you bring that out? Well, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies. Yeah, our enemies. Okay. And one thing uh, coming to this truth, finding out is, is that you have enemies. 
See, this is this has been taught to all the other nations. Well, this is innate inside of them. Yeah. Uh, innately, they already they uh, innately okay. These other nations, uh, they are they are born hating you, okay? Because there's a because we are the righteous spirit and they are the wicked spirit. And Esau, his 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 spirit is just not upright. So he that that wicked spirit is even, per, you know, personified. You know, even even greater. It's intensified even greater. But these other nations, they they uh. They have evil, wicked spirits, and they have evil, wicked spirits towards the Israelites. That's why you don't see large fluctuations of Israelites marrying into these other nations. Uh, they want to they want to allow that, okay? Because they they know that we are enemies. See, they know the history that has never been lost, and then just the spirit is there's contention, okay? There's con contention because the Lord He separated us, okay? It tells you that. Like you said, with these other nations, they actually they teach their children when they raise them not right. to not to deal with Jake. Mm -hmm. Basically, like you can see when you out here in America, like a lot of the heathen, like heathen like Elam, the uh, Moab, Ammon, you know these other different nations, they're actually raised and taught not to deal with you. Right, and you even see that in um, in Israelite culture also. Okay, you have uh, Ishikar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ishikar won't say don't deal with the Negrito. Yeah. Well, all the tribes really. You even have Benjamin. You don't deal with them American blacks. Mm -hmm. All right, so you blacks here in America, you got it the worst, man. All right, you got it the worst, which is all prophecy because you are the head tribe, you know. But, you know, all these curses now are going to fall upon all our enemies, all our adversaries. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee. Yeah, so this like this government shutdown, food shortages. This is all going to befall... You heathen nations also yep. during the during the hour of temptation during uh, Jacob's trouble. What you heathen, you gonna take the chip, okay? All right, you are gonna take the chip, and then you're gonna be destroyed. All right, that's your, your lot is to be destroyed. All right. Ultimately, um, finish that up, and that's then we'll get another scripture. All right. <clears throat> the, and the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right, and that and who has persecuted us? Oh, uh, Esau started Esau. That's number one, and then the other nation that tells you that Psalms eighty three. Yeah. You know, all, all the nation name all the nations that were in lead with the so called white man. Okay, Psalms the second chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay, but ultimately the Lord said that He's going to give us power over our enemies to rule them with a rod of iron. So what does that mean? It means that the Lord He created different nations. We just happen to be the Lord's. Only favorite nation, the, the Lord's only nation that he uh, he allotted to himself. Okay, all the other nations, I, I believe it's Isaiah 40. Let me see. There's extras. There you go. Yep, this is it. Isaiah 40. I started 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as, as a small dust of the balance. That's nothing, basically. A drop of a bucket compared to a whole bucket of water. That's nothing, literally nothing. If you drop a, a drop of water out of the whole bucket that you just went to go pour up, you're not tripping about that one drop that just came up. Right. And that's how the Lord is equating these nations. Behold, he taketh up the isle as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. You have you uh you had all the you know the the beasts of Lebanon, all right, these the heathen was sacrificed unto the Lord, it still wouldn't even be enough. All right, meaning the Lord ain't dealing with you. Okay, verse uh, 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. Nothing. It's literally nothing. Just like it's saying the apocrypha that you're spittle, these other nations yeah. are a spittle. And that's exactly, you're basically nothing. Yeah, spittle is spit, you know. That's something that's like, that's like wow, like somebody spit on you. That's like the worst thing that could happen to you. And, you, and the Lord equated the nations to spittle. So you're just these nations are literally nothing. Right. That's why the Lord, when this thing, when um, when when all hell breaks loose, uh, you you heathen nations, you are gonna get caught out there. You gonna you gonna be uh you gonna be mowed down, man. Yep. You know, for the Lord, he he doesn't he's not gonna have any protection. Um, you know, he's not gonna have any protection. Uh, 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 over you, you know, and and then the Lord, He's gonna remember your sins, okay? All the, all the shit that you were talking about, you know, uh, behind uh, behind the Lord, 
you know, uh, to uh, against the Lord's people. Yeah. You know, you you don't know that he that touches you touches the apple of 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 his eye. Mm-hmm. Meaning, if you touch the Israel Israelites, you you're you're messing with uh, the heavenly Father. Like, say if you have a kid, right, and you send your kid to school, and then your kid comes back with fucking you know bruises all over him. You know, busted lip, busted eye. You know, slapped around, verbally uh, abused. Mm-hmm. You know, physically abused. And then the kid comes home crying, and the dad was like, "What? What happened? Oh, my teacher beat me." And what do you think? You think you think the dad gonna let it go by? No, a real man, a real Israelite man, gonna go there and he gonna put that he gonna put that teacher to death. Yeah. You know, and that's what the heavenly Father he likens us unto his son. Okay, well, our name is uh, Israel or Yashala. He is a prince of the power, right? And what is a prince? A prince is a son. So you you heathen you heathens messed up. Uh, that, uh, that scripture is, uh, oh, what was the second Ezra? Yeah, nine is, is it nine? Uh, is it nine and six? It's, it's, um, six and 56. Oh, six. Okay. I was in six. All right. Slack you, slack you. That's what it was. This is second Ezra. Yep. Yep. I'll start at 54. It says, uh, and, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Yeah, so there's only one chosen people out of everybody that came out of Adam. And that everybody, all these other nations, they came out of Adam, yet there's only one chosen people. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh. Because thou hast made the world for our sake. And that R is talking about Israel. It's not talking about these other, other nations. You know, the Lord, he, the Lord only, he gave the, the statutes and commandments to who? To the Israelites. He wasn't given to these heathen nations. So the Lord is only dealing with Israel. And as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And that's what the, how the Lord looks at all these other heathen nations, man. He looks at you as spittle, all right? We already, we already said, like, that spittle is something that you actually, that's actually classified as an assault in America. You spittle somebody, that's assault. Yeah. So that's something that's nasty, that's vile. Like, so, somebody to get spittle on, that's like the worst thing that, that can happen to you. The Esau classified it as an assault. <laughs> yeah. So the, like, that's to show you how the Lord looks at these other nations. They are, they're nothing. Really, these other nations was created for us, right? To be our servants, to be our slaves. Yeah, and that's why when all hell breaks loose, okay, when the society totally collapses, all right, these heathen nations they're going to get caught up in that judgment too. That's going to be part of their judgment, mm-hmm. you know. And some are going to be allotted to to actually taste of that nuclear fire, but a lot of them also they're going to be in these detention centers. They're going to be all bugged out, looking, not knowing how to speak, you know, English. Yeah. You know, they just gonna be totally lost in the sauce, you know, and they gonna they gonna uh see the men of the Lord being delivered. And they gonna and they're gonna bug out, man. Yeah. You know, they're gonna they're gonna bug out. Because it's gonna come that de- that destruction and all that all that chaos is gonna come as a thief in the night, like it's the, the scriptures say in uh, first Thessalonians. Cause these people they don't they don't um they don't think that anything's gonna happen. They don't they don't believe that America's gonna end that Anything bad, like like I said earlier, all these movies and stuff that they watch, they don't never it never crosses their mind. Like, man, what if this actually happened? No, they don't believe that anything like that could happen. Yeah, they they believe that this westernized society is going to last forever. Well, it tells you that their inward thought yeah, is yeah. is that their houses shall continue forever. Mm-hmm. Now, that's talking about Esau, but that's also talking about all those that are joined unto Esau in, in that same yeah. you know uh, mind frame as Esau. You know, being as an Edomite, mm-hmm. right? Uh, thinking as an Edomite. It's got the same vibration as Esau. Right. Well, be it, well. What they call it? What Americanization? Mm-hmm. The Isaac something, okay? Like a Latinization. Okay, you Latinize a term, or or you know, uh, you have a Latin Latin name of uh, you know an animal or you know botany. You know, dealing with plants. You know, different species. There's a there's a Latin name to it, so pretty much the same thing now here in in, in um, Babylon, America. 
You come over here and what do you do? You turn into an American. You assimilate into American society. You do as an American do. You go to school. You you go you go to college. You do a college role. Celebrate the holidays. Celebrate the holidays. And you can hear this. You can be from Siberia. Okay, deep, deep Siberia. And you come over to America. You put on the American hat. Well, there's a Moabite that dry, uh, rides by. I see him all the time in a wheelchair going to the little, little Moabite store right here. And he got American flag on. He be having American flag on his uh, electric uh, um, wheelchair, flying, you know, flying high. And you, you really believe Esau looks at that like, oh yeah, that's an outstanding American there. No, they're calling him a goddamn goop. That's how you go back to your country. When, when Esau's mad at you, he will say, "Go back to your country." All right, he'll make fun of your eyes and he'll make fun of your language. And this is going for all nations outside of Esau. Okay, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we're done there. Can you can you get Baruch four and then we'll close off on Isaiah uh, uh, thirteen? If you want me to start from the top, or now go ahead and start from thirty one. Okay. Baruch four and thirty one. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, and rejoiced at thy fall. Yeah, miserable are they that afflicted thee, who has afflicted us. Well, uh, Esau and the other nations. Okay, Esau allows. Esau is behind all the. You know, all the, you know, uh, social and, you know, all these different programs to oppress our people, you know, behind these different secret government programs to lock Jake up in the prisons, you know, to, you know, destroy them by, you know, food, what they call a uh, nutricide, which is a, uh, pretty much killing by nutrition. And that's what GMOs are all about. It's nutricide. Uh, and then he sets up also heathen as buffers, okay, and, and makes it seem like he's a very diverse, you know, and, and uh, he's a very diverse and a uh, fair nation. Because he's like, look, there's, there's people from all over nations coming to America. They, they got businesses. You know, we got blacks. We got Mexicans here, too. You know, they got businesses, too. Well, the heathen are doing, why can't, the, the, the Africans are doing, why can't you blacks here? Why can't you do it? Right, not not telling you that he really set it up to where he, there's a glass ceiling. Okay, there's a limitation to how far you can rise up in this society. You can't even rise up really above these heathens. Okay, you can't rise up above these heathens. Only way for you to get any type of recognition or notoriety is to do what? Is to be a goddamn uh, entertainer. Shoot a ball. You know how to shoot threes. So Esau, he'll recognize you as a human. Okay, but as soon as you speak out of, uh, against any of his his unfair policies, whether it be in the sport that you're playing or entertainment business that you're in or outside social issues, he's going to come at you. He's going to check you and let you know that you're still a slave. Right. There's so many examples. There's so there's so many examples. Do we have to bring them up? No, we shouldn't even have to bring them up. These things are made evident every single day All right, that Esau... He does not accept you, Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, okay, as actual human beings. Well, you so you so-called Black men, you're three fifths of human, okay. The Native American man was what, uh, uh, named a savage, mm -hmm. okay. And what is what is a Latino man named? An illegal alien. Yep. So they don't even call you by you know regular names that they'll give any by any other na nation or their, their their own nation a name, or oh, just a white male or a Black male. Even as far as going on, is uh, you know, a uh, 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 El Salvadorian. They don't even call you that. They call you a migrant, a migrant, mm -hmm. or illegal, or an alien, or an illegal alien. Yeah. Like you're some type of foreign creature coming to steal and rob all your resources. You're here to rape white women and sell fentanyl. Yeah. When Esau is behind all these things, okay, it's plain, it's plain as day, and he's gonna. And he, he's going to blame you Israelites for the reason why America is falling and crumbling. And that's going to even bring more of a social divide between the nations, which there's always been a divide between Jacob and Esau. Okay? That was that was in the beginning. That's That was the story of Jacob and Esau. There was two manner of people, uh, two manner of nations yep. separated. Okay? Go ahead, bro. And back in um, group 4 and 31. Miserable are the cities which thy uh, miserable are thy, they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall, and miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy son. Yeah, all you cities, all you nations. 
you know, that uh, that we had to serve, that you were able to, you know, reap the benefits off of our labor. Because all you nations have reaped the benefits off of our labor and all you nations have became filthy rich like China. You, OK, China, China became rich off a of trade of America. But who is the consumer here in America? Are you Israelites? So China became rich off you Israelites, off consuming, on, uh, off selling products to you Israelites. And Esau was a middleman. OK, so Esau, he got his cut and the Chinese got their cut and they built up their uh, their uh, ec uh, they built up their uh, economic, you know, uh, you know, they got they built up their economic, so to speak. Their economy, that's the word I was looking for. They built up their econ economy. So all these nations have got filthy rich off of Babylon. But Babylon, OK, has sucked dry the Israelites. Because that's really who is that's really who's keeping this place up you know the elders did a video i did a response video on who's really keeping america up and it's the workforce okay which is nothing but slave labor to the elites okay these different corporations whether it be in transport whether it be you know uh independent contracting okay the educational system the government any, anywhere you go you're gonna have large groups of israelites working there okay these restaurant service okay retail Agriculture. Ag agriculture. Would come on now. Stop. Stop. Every every job market is filled with what? It's filled with Israelites. And the only one and Esau, Esau's at the top. See, Esau, he's the project manager, he's the owner, he's the CEO, mm -hmm. he's the COO. And then you Israelites are the grunt workers. And then you have skill, you have a lot of skill worker, skill uh, uh work workers, um, Israelites that are keeping these, you know, Fortune five hundred companies alive. You know, actually creating the software, creating the, you know, the, the, the architecture of these different, you know, uh, you know, international companies. Okay, it's really an Israelite behind it, but they're not going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. So it says miserable are the cities. So all these nations, they're going to be miserable, starting with the so-called white men and then you other heathen nations. Are you Chinese? Are you Japanese? Are you, uh, you, you Ishmaelites, you, you Arabs? Okay, you, uh, you Indians, you East Indians, Pakistanians, okay, you damn Hindus, okay, which that's just a sect, uh, you, you Africans, all you, all you different African, you know, tribes, watch when all hell break loose, then they're going to try to join them hand, their hand with Jake, yeah. but before that, they was talking shit, now, now we're brother, now, now we're, we're feeling the same, uh, uh struggle, no. You you're on your own, okay? You heathen nations are gonna be on your own. You're gonna be in mold down. You're gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer the sword, also. You know, you're gonna suffer the judgment of the heavenly Father. Also, it says miserable. Go ahead, bro. Go to uh, thirty three. Verse thirty three. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Yeah, all these nations they're gonna see their own des uh, desolation. You know. All you heathen nations, all right, because the Most High, he's going to have all you nations in perplexity. Yeah, okay, just not America. Okay, all you nations are going to actually turn and fight against the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what the prophecy says. So you, do you not think that the Lord is going to uh, not recompense you for that? Amongst you, uh, amongst you, you know, treating the children of Israel like shit. All right, putting them in slavery, having a hand in putting them in slavery, you know, making the boats. Okay, uh, doing backdoor trade deals. To where Esau allow you, you know, allow you know the Chinese to open a market, you know, sell, you know, poison to our people. Yeah. Who's doing that? All right, is you heathen nations? You all pretty much piggybacked off of Esau. All right, you all took, you all got on the bandwagon of, uh, you know, what's it called? What's the word I want to use? Uh, I can't damn. Can you go to Isaiah thirteen? Well, uh, I'm trying to remember the the word I want to use. Took advantage. You know, you all took advantage of the Israelites. So the Most High, he's going to take advantage of you. And he's preparing. He's preparing all this now. Uh, he's preparing this now. Uh, he's preparing judgment for you, uh, you damn heathens. Uh, go ahead and start uh, verse 6 again. Isaiah 13 and 6. How ye for the Lord, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yeah, and you heathen nations are going to get caught up in that destruction. Go ahead. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Yep, go ahead. And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. Yeah, you you heathen nations, you come over here, okay, and you're 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 only uh 
your only mind frame is to get as much money out of uh, out of Babylon. Yep. So you're just stuck as just being a damn slave. All right. Whether you own a liquor store, you own get three, four gas stations, you have a couple million dollars in your uh, bank account. You don't know what the hell is going on. You have no clue. So when all hell breaks loose, you Jake is going to be run up in your house. OK. You know what? Keep reading because it's going to go all into that. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flame. Yeah, you're going to be flabbergasted. Okay, you're going to be an awestruck. Okay. Go ahead. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Yeah, so you nations now, you practice Christianity now. Okay, you said that you're, you're a god here. You got Korean churches. Mm -hmm. Here it is. You got a Korean Christian church, but if if we go into the Korean Christian church, they're gonna look at us. They probably won't even let us in. Yep. You 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 gonna just you just gonna feel the hatred. Where, where's the love in Christ, so to speak? Well, that just goes to show you that it, that shit is all fake and phony. Mm -hmm. All right, you have a, a a Chinese a Chinese mega church. It's a, it's a church out, out our way that will you pass it up when you head out to our spot. It's a little chi a group church right there. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no Jake's going over there. How about you go and you go in there and try to have service with them? You think they're gonna treat you like a brother in Christ? No, they gonna look at you like a goddamn like a like an illegal alien. Okay, even in the country that you built up, you know, when they they're actual they're actually foreigners, you know. Yep. So you you should go, you should already see how the what the dynamics are. Okay, you Israelite you Israelite should not be. You know, uh, hand in hand with these heathen nations, all right? Cause they're gonna see, they're gonna show their horns, okay? They're gonna show their hatred, all right? When they say "nigga, go home," okay? When they have a gun to your face, when you're starving and you're hungry, and all you want is a piece of bread, they're gonna say no. Go ahead. Behold, verse ten: For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in her going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Yeah, that's what's well, that's what's going to happen. In, um, you know, uh, in this evil day, the actual stars and moon, they're going to be darkened, and also the the knowledge, understanding is going to be taken out of the earth. Okay, you're not going to be able to find this truth. Okay, and that's when that that's when that that, that dark day, of the Lord's going to come. Because really, at that point, the men of the Lord going to be, they going to be just trying to survive. You know. They ain't gonna be teaching. We're not gonna be teaching. Lord's will be part of that number. We're not gonna be teaching. Or right, we go, hey, hey, brother, we gonna, we gotta, gotta go to camp. Or oh, you got your videos up, brother. We're not gonna be doing that, man. It's, it's gonna be just all just led in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And what? Pilgrims. Yeah, being as pilgrims. And what do you think these heathens gonna do? They gonna <laughs> they gonna follow the direction of the government. Let's go straight to a FEMA camp. Go straight to a FEMA camp, looking hungry, <laughs> looking hungry, and they gonna just take the chip. They they gonna take it, no questions asked. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. They're going to take... Look at China. China ready to take the chip, man. They're ready. Them damn... Them damn Moabites. Okay? Ammon ready to take the chip. All these nations, they're going to take the chip. All right? And they're going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead. And I will punish the world for their evil. Yeah, I will punish the world. So you heathen nations are included in that. Mm -hmm. All right? Because you had a hand in actually, you know, taking us down and... Steady oppressing us to this day. Actively right now, you're actively oppressing us. Yep. Okay. And the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Yeah, Esau, his pride is going to be totally ceased. His pride is going to be brought down, and the pride of you other nations. Oh, we heard about the pride, the pride of Moab. Moab is a very proudful nation. Very, very proud. Ishmael, very proud. Elon, very proud. These, these nations are very proud, okay, against, okay, you you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. They look at you lower than a human being. They look at you as an animal, okay? But when they look at the so-called white man, all right, which they're, they're starting to, you know, their their uh, opinion about the so-called white man is starting to change. Well, they always hated him, but they feared him. See, they feared the so-called white man because of his weapons. But now these other nations, they got weapons too. Yep. 
that was the only reason they respected them was because of fear. Right. They, that's why it's acting cool. Like you said, now now you see all these other nations. Now they come and they ready to say they they ready to go to war now. Yeah, they they're uh they're proclaiming ta- taunting proverbs. There's very a lot of taunting proverbs. These other nations are taking up against Babylon. Okay, chanting death to Babylon. Yep. Saying that we'll you know you have uh Chinese generals saying that we'll sink two of your warships if you come and invade. If you come near the Ch- South China Sea, you have a small nation like North Korea say that we'll shoot missiles mm-hmm. and destroy the whole landmass of America. Okay, so these nations they at one point they would never say that, but now it's because according to biblical prophecy, what right, right the let the weak say that I am strong. Yep. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Verse 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Right, he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Okay, the Israelite man, the man that you look down upon, you heathen nations. Okay, you come into our neighborhoods, you sell us bullshit-ass food, hand-me-down food. Okay, uh, you know, uh, food that's not been refrigerated. You know, you run the prices up. You know, it might be 20, 30% more than going to like a regular grocery store, the corner store. Okay, uh, you you tr- oh you trick off on our women. Okay, you trick off for, you know on our women. You know might give them you know some some sandwich meat some you know some you you pretty much you pray you pray on the the poverty of our people. Yep. So the Lord he gonna he gonna he's gonna prepare you to be that prey. Okay, you damn you you damn heathens. Go ahead. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man. Than the golden wedge of Ophir. Yeah, the man that you you say that you know is a is a is an animal. Well, the Lord He gonna make us more precious than fine gold in that day, and you are gonna be like unto stubble. Well, it says you are gonna be like the spittle. Yep. So what what do you think the Most High? Do you think the Most High He honors uh gold or spittle or spit? Which one? Come on. Does that even, do we even have to answer that question? So the Lord He He prepared, He's um. He's preparing us to be fine gold, okay? And you are just a a, 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 a loogie, ultimately, <laughs> that he's going to spit out of his mouth, all right? And that can come in the form of you getting locked up in these FEMA camps, getting beat. Oh, your woman going to get taken away from you, the, the precious daughters that you tried to cover and keep to yourself. Oh, they're going to get snatched right out of your hand. Who's going to be there snatching them? Jake. Well, a lot of them, they, Jake ain't got to snatch them, really. They're going to be running into Jake's arms. Literally. Willingly, all right. Well, say that he's he gonna make a man more precious than fine gold. Yep. All right. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Yeah, when those missiles uh, drop, okay, and a lot of a lot of heathens they're gonna die of the earthquake too. They're gonna die of the earthquake, the tsunamis. It's gonna be all type of catastrophic events that are going to happen that you know that are going to take place you might have a goddamn lightning storm like a big ass lightning storm thunderbolts everywhere or you have a leviathan coming out and it doesn't say that it's one leviathan there could be it's multiple leviathan be. so they're going to come out and shoot beams and esau he makes videos of he actually makes uh movies about this yeah, in the movies the whole motherfucking like family of the motherfuckers all around the earth yeah yeah and in, in the core and what happened? They uh they are awakened because of some type of nuclear. He saw testing nukes. In the yeah, ocean. yeah, te- testing nuclear, you know, uh, uh missiles. <laughs> well, nuclear missiles are going to sh- uh, fire off, and what's going to happen? All right, the Leviathan's going to be is going to wake up. All right, he going he going and he going and he can't be destroyed. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he can actually withstand a nuclear blast. So you're done. Okay, so the the Lord he really going to terrorize this whole place. He going to make it known. Okay, he's going to make it known that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north, okay, and all the cities that he has scattered them, okay? And that's going to be done in a very, you know, dramatic, in a very dramatic and uh, artistic way, okay? Spectacular, dramatic, artistic, you know? It's going to literally be like a movie. Like the, all the stuff that's gonna be happening is, is like you can't you literally can't make it up. It's gonna be just like something you would think that you were watching a movie yet it's gonna be in real life happening. Yeah, you're gonna experience it. And you uh <laughs> you heathen nation's gonna get burnt up, man. 
All right, you you he, and that's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing. All right, because the Lord He's using this is like the ultimate underdog story. All right, the man that's been talked down, beat down, you know, and then it's gonna rise up to the top. And then those who are held in high regard in this uh this society, which this is a low life piece of shit society. Okay, you got a a, Mo, a Moabite has more clout than you. That's un, that's unbelievable. You know, a Moabite. Retard. Yeah, he'll get a he'll get a, a finer woman than you. You know, which they all of course they want to come to Jake, but I'm just saying, just overall, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. A few more, a few more precepts. In verse fourteen, few and, more it verses. Shall, and it shall be as a chaste roe, and a sheep that no man taketh up. Yeah, Esau, and that's gonna be that's that's Esau, but it's gonna be you other nations also. Okay. Go ahead. They sh they shall every man turn to his own people. See, every man turn to his own people. So all these nations they're gonna turn to their own people. So it's, it's not gonna be this rainbow coalition anymore as, as America likes to paint the picture. This big big melting pot melting pot where there's nothing but understanding. We're all just humans. Yeah, we're we're the we're the human race. No, that's no, no. No. That's that that that's not gonna that's not that's not a reality. That's false. That's that's a false reality. Reality is, okay, when all hell breaks loose, these nations are going to do what? Not only are they, uh, not only are they, you know, um, there's something called reverse immigration, which a lot of the heathens are going back to their country, own countries now, but they're going to go back, when, when this thing is shut down, they're going to go back to their own neighborhoods, their own subsections, okay, where these, you know, like Chinatown, yep. Japantown, you know, you have, you know, where all the, the Irish are at. Where they know that they people will be at. Yeah, you have the, the Ethiopians, where their people are at, where they feel comfortable. Like Elon, hella Elon, Union City, Fremont. Right. They're going to band together, all right? And they're going to try to start little coalitions. Where well, they're going to get mowed through, but it, it just, we're just, we're just, uh, we're, we're just verbalizing what the scriptures are saying, you know, putting it into uh, imagery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can understand. All right, so these nations, they're going to, there isn't going to be no uh, brotherly love between these nations. Well, there is no brotherly love now. Now, that, like I said, that's all a, a fragment of your imagination. That's just that, that that's just something that, that just makes you feel good saying, you know. You know, you say certain words just make you feel good, warm in the inside. But in reality, that, that that's not even, <laughs> that's not even the case. Go ahead. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee everyone into his own land. Yeah, so everybody's going to be separated, okay, with their nation. Go ahead. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Uh-huh. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if you're joined, well, ba basically, you heathen, all, like this lesson is pretty much uh, centered around you heathen nations. You heathen nations, you all, all of you are going to be destroyed here in Babylon, okay, but you're going, you are going to have Israelites that look like the other heathen nations, and if they are allotted to be saved, then the Lord is going to save them. They're going to have protection. Okay, so if you do look like a heathen nation, say you look like an Elamite, or you look like an Ammonite, okay, but the spirit, according to uh, Romans 8 and 16, is the spirit bear witness with your spirit that you are children of the Most High, then hey, all right, we can't, we can't deny you that, all right, and then if, ultimately, if the Lord... He has uh, created you to be the elect, then you're going to be the elect and you're going to be, you know, saved through all these things that are about to befall the earth. But if you are actual, uh, a natural Gentile, that's your ass. OK, and the Lord's going to have it to where all these flashbacks will come in your head of you talking shit against the Israelites. OK, and then you're going to see a missile. OK, with your name on it. OK. Keep, uh, uh, keep going. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces yeah, before you, their eyes. Yeah, your children. See, your children. You, your, your, your children gonna die before your eyes. The children that you hold so dearly, them retarded, them retarded heathen children. Okay, that you talk shit. They they grow up talking shit about Jake, yep. knowing all these derogatory statements. Here it is, a child supposed to be innocent, right? Well, here you you go to second grade, and your your son is already getting called a nigga by a heathen. Where did they learn it from? Right, they learned it from their parents. All right, because that's a that's an average everyday word in their language, whether they're saying it in English or they have, you know, uh, a so-called term in their own language. Okay. So your so your children your children are going to get dashed before your eyes. 
Go ahead. Their houses shall be spoiled. Yeah, your houses are going to be spoiled. You living in these nice plush uh, neighborhoods, all off the the back of the Israelites, selling them, you know, tobacco, selling them fried chicken and, and alcohol. You bring uh, the Ishikar and the other tribes that do your yard work. Yep. Grunt yep. Work, yep. Yep. Par barely pay them anything. Everybody, everybody know where they're where to go to when all hell break loose. Yep. And it, yeah, you're not gonna be able to say, "Hey, brother." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be like that. You are gonna have Judy. You have big black, <laughs> angry black man, big black or uh, big brown, uh, uh, Hispanic men. You know, ready, ready to it coming together too. They waiting for that day. They gonna yeah. They gonna squash all their beefs and they gonna really identify who the enemy is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they and they're gonna identify that it's the number one any enemy is Esau. So Esau, you're you're gonna be taking place in this prophecy that we're reading, okay? And then all you other heathen nations, okay? You Chinese, you Japanese, you uh, you you Africans, you uh, you East Indians, okay? You you Iranians, okay? You Arabs, oh you you uh, you Japhites, all you damn Japhites, you're gonna get it too, man. All see, all you nations are gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer the wrath of Yah Bashmal Shai, okay? Oh, uh, go ahead. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So your, your wives are going to be ravished. So the, your, your beautiful wives that you you want so close to you, all right, have their head wrapped. They're going to they gonna be ravished, meaning they're going to be, uh, look at this word, ravished. Just so, you know, we know what it is, but, you know, somebody gets stupid. I just want to let you know what it is to be ravished. It means, okay, uh, sh sh shakab. Mm -hmm. It means to lie down, to lie, lie down, lie down, to lie. Sexual relations, okay. So, to be lain with, to be lain with sexually, to make to lie down. So by force. by force to make to make. So if you make somebody do something against their will, that what is that? It's force. You're ravishing, ravishing her. Okay, when we come down to the strong definition, shakab, it says, primitive root to lie down for rest, sexual connection, decease, or any other purpose. All right, and the niggas are sick, man. So you never know what they're going to use. You already know they're going to pass her around at all. Cast down, uh, make the lie down, down to sleep, ravish, take rest, sleep, stay. So pretty much they're going to they're gonna force, they're going to put you to death and, and force your wife, you know, into sexual acts, okay? They're going to force her into sex slavery, all right? And this is all coming to you heathen nations as a punishment, okay, from the Almighty. Uh, you can read 17. Uh, no, yeah, keep, yeah, keep going down. Keep going down. We'll just finish it off from here. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. Yeah, Russia, go ahead. Which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to buy you're not gonna be able to buy this uh this nuclear destruction off. Okay, go ahead. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and stars and satires shall dance there. Yep, uh, that that's it on that, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, so that's basically it. You know, basically, you know, uh, America is going to be totally destroyed. Prior to that, you heathen nations, gonna, you're going to suffer, you know, all these things that are going to befall the earth. Because it is going to be Jacob's trouble, but you have heathens here that are going to take place in Jacob's trouble also. They're going to be destroyed. You're going to have heathens that's going to take the chip. It's going to, that's going to agree with the beast, you know, follow suit. And then ultimately, they're going to be destroyed and they're going to suffer. All these things that we just read about, they're going to have their children being killed before them, before their eyes. Well, that happened to the Israelites. Where were, where were you, you heathen nations to come to save us? All right. But in fact, you, you actually talk shit about us. 
you actually made jokes and, and you made light of our captivity. So the Heavenly Father is going to return um, the same energy that you put out towards us. He's going to return upon you twofold. Okay? You got anything you want to say? It is definitely going away. You know, all the, all the movies, like we've been saying, all the movies that you, you like to watch, or you like to see, uh, like, people, everybody's speaking on Bird Box, well, well, all hell is breaking loose, really. So all that's coming to America. You know, everything, everything that you, all these different movies you've been seeing, all right, it's all coming to America. Nothing but judgment, really. Yep. And then you starting to, starting the year off with a bang. The year, the year of Karagans. <laughs> Con, con. So we pray that you brothers are edified with this lesson. We want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakudash. Till next time, you know, depth of Babylon, depth to all you damn heathens. Prepare for judgment. Oh, like the brother said, judgment is on the way. To you heathens, Shalom. Shalom.